It's vitally important. Uh, that collaboration is really the engine room that will drive this agenda forward. But there are other vital players who need to play their part. And starting at the top of the house, we're talking about politicians. We need to have a national policy that actually encourages all those who are involved in the planning, development and delivery of services to take the risks that are necessary to move this agenda forward to benefit the citizens of Scotland. And the other people who must be around the table are the service users. The people who are requiring service today and those who will be using services tomorrow and those, the youth of today, who are actually using digital technologies as the way they function in their day-to-day -day lives and we need to learn from them. We need to use the tools that are accepted as part of the day-to-day -day communication, the way we order our lives, the way we structure our calendars, the way we order our shopping, and we need to use those in a way that supports the delivery of health and care. Not simply when you're ill, but actually to stop you becoming ill. And for that, we need people to take risks and to hold our hands as we go through that process are our academic colleagues. They can look 5, 10, 15 years into the future to inform our thinking and inform our planning. So effectively, I've covered almost all spectrums of Scottish society. But if we really want to make a difference and we truly believe this is what is going to deliver sustainability in our health and care services for the future, we need to invest in it. For those who are watching this, they won't know we've had a fire alarm. But what has been interesting, it has meant people have gone outside in an unstructured way. You were standing next to people you wouldn't normally stand next to and you got into conversations and you learned things about what they were doing. Not the people who were standing up and speaking, the people who some call cynically the usual suspects, but those who are living and breathing these technologies and deploying them on the ground. So the fire alarm has actually contributed positively today. At least there wasn't a fire.